Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and this is day two on my four-day cruise to the Bahamas. And today we are in Nassau, and all I plan on doing today is just going out. Um, I'm just gonna go and try a couple local beers. There's an Irish pub I like to go to. Um, maybe walk through the straw market, you know, nothing big. I have a uh, lunch reservation at Chops at 12.15, so I don't really get a whole lot of time. It's about 8.30 right now, and, we, and I'm walking towards where we can get off. So I'll have about probably three hours in Nassau, and then let's go check out Nassau. Right now I'm just trying to find how to get to like, how to get outside so I can just check it out, check out Nassau as we port. So this is the fourth floor. Here we are in beautiful NASA. Oh, looks like there's already people getting off, so I'm gonna make my way down there and let's go explore. So I haven't had my coffee yet. We have to go to one? Oh, look over there. So I haven't had coffee yet, so here's a quick replacement. I grabbed a Red Bull. It's blue, it's the blue edition. So maybe it should be Blue Bull? I don't know. Still trying to figure out what Florida Get up oh, there it is gangway right here. I've been calling the gang ramp Did everybody wait for their excursions I chose not to do it today You can go get your picture taken if you want Every ship has their own like Little inner tube or whatever that's called Lifesaver Life Thanks, Rose, she's a lifesaver. All right, so today, there's, I think we're the only boat in port right now, so we got here at like eight, and there's it's not a whole lot of people. Like, I feel like there's normally like a huge rush of people to get off the ship, but the pier is usually crowded, but right now it's just kind of nice. It's like a stroll in the park, or a stroll in Nassau. It's Friday, right? Friday? And today is Friday, it's a, it's a, Memorial Day weekend, so I would expect more boats to be here. But anyway, let me get the gratuitous uh, video of the ship real quick. Complete with sound effects. Whoa! There's all the taxis. That's a new taxi stand since I've been here. They've built that up since. I think last time I was here was September. So pretty sure when I come back in a few hours, these will all be open. There'll be music playing. There'll be hair being braided. No, thank you. No, we're just going to the straw market and well, right that's there. That's an expensive market. You <laughs> might sit on the market, but okay, <laughs> No, thank you. Remember those commercials with the captain in you? Yes. <laughs> captain is in me today. All right, so here's the straw market. As you can see, it's like right, there's actually the port. There's our ship, you can see right there. So it's within walking distance. You just go outside and make a right. And then you come here and it's just a lot of the, they have a lot of the same vendors. It's kind of like a giant flea market. Good morning. So once again, it's like not even nine o'clock, so. I probably would have waited. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? How are you all doing today? Good. What is Good morning. Good morning. 
Good morning, how are you? All right, so the straw market is not open all the way yet. So my advice is if you don't have an excursion, I would kind of hang out on the ship before you come out into the uh, city. A lot of these stores are still closed. So my Irish bar isn't open right now. I don't know what time it opens, but maybe we'll be back. Today's just tricky because we have an early lunch reservation. Wish I didn't think about it. All right, so I finally found a place that was open and got my Calic and Sands are the two local beers. I think Calic is the one I like better. Yeah, Calic is my is my better one, my favorriter one. Sands tastes like Stella, is what Rose says. So, I prefer Calic if you're coming. Who needs to peach a wa Who needs to people watch when you can bird watch? Oh, I got excited that the stick was food, and then I was like, oh, no. Nope. I mean, didn't we have this conversation about pigeons and doves? Pigeons and doves are the same species. Does that look more like a dove, doesn't it? It does. All right, so here is Senor Frogs. It's closed today. So what I just found out is that we are the only cruise ship in port today. So one of the locals said that a lot of businesses take the days where there's only one cruise ship off. So I am not anticipating seeing everything. <laughs> I got the Rattler. So it's like a... If you had the Schaffenheim, what's it called? The Schaffenheim or whatever at Disney, the Guava Hefenweizen mix. And it's pretty good. Very refreshing. It's only 2% alcohol. But as I was saying, uh, one of the locals, I don't know if I finished it, but one of the locals said that there's only one ship in port today, so a lot of the shops are going to be closed. When there's only one ship, that's when most of the businesses take off, so kind of sucks but oh well Cool mugs. I already have enough mugs though. With the little spoon. So, I, for the most part, every store has like the same stuff, but then they all have little variations of it too. Of course, we got to visit the Harley Davidson shop. No bikes, just t-shirts and rum cakes. T-shirts and rum cakes in the Harley Davidson shop. There's one of these in every uh, stop. So here we have the first governor of Bahamas. And here's the parliament building. If you watch my previous videos, you know that a lot of the government buildings are pink here in the Bahamas. If you didn't watch my videos, go ahead and <laughs> go back. Watch a few of them. I've been to the Queen Staircase, been on like a tour around the area. So last time I was here, I don't think the water fountain or the waterfalls was going, but this is it, 65 steps cut out of limestone.
So at the top of the queen staircase, uh, they have like the coconut shops and all that. So got a giant coconut water, it was $10. And then uh, add a shot of rum, which is in like another 10 bucks. So 20 bucks, get this huge coconut and I get to enjoy it. I know they have like a flea market up here. So like little booths and stuff right outside Fort Vincastle, I believe is what it's called. So just gonna go walk up there and check it out. And uh, yeah, just keep enjoying the day. And once again, thanks for coming along with me. Very refreshing, much better than the boxed coconut water. All right, so this is the top of the Queen's stair staircase. They do have a restroom up here. And this is Fort Pin Castle, which costs three dollars to get into, I believe, if I remember from last time. But they got like little shops and stuff up here. Once again, it's uh, because it's not a full port. It's not really a whole lot of people, a whole lot of things open. And of course, instead of walking, you can always pay to take a tour. It'll drive you up here. So when I came up, uh, there's a, a restroom here at the beginning of the staircase. And uh, there's like an old lady sitting there in the way and I wasn't sure if I had a tip her to get her to move. It was super awkward. You can see her, she's still there. But this is, this is the queen staircase. And you'll never see it more empty. Only one ship in port today. It's nice if you're sightseeing, not so nice if you want to shop because majority of shops are closed. I know I've said that before, but anyway, going back to this shit because I got dinner reservation or lunch reservations. Yay. All right. So fun fact, I just learned that, um, one of the shopkeepers told me that if you cross the street, if you jaywalk and you get hit, then it's your fault and the driver can actually sue you. However, if you are in the crosswalk and they hit you, then you can sue them. So I've noticed that when you don't cross at a crosswalk, it's like playing Frogger trying to dodge the cars to get across the street because they don't stop. But if you're in a crosswalk, like they'll flash their lights, they'll slow down, they'll stop, uh, they'll let you cross safely. So if you're coming here, my advice is use the crosswalks as well as you should always use the crosswalks, but sometimes it's just not convenient, right? But always use the crosswalks in the Bahamas, in Nassau. All right, back at the straw market now, it looks like there's more shops that are open. I'm gonna hit this before I head back to the port or head back to the ship. So just hit the straw market. Uh, didn't see anything really that stood out to me. Um, a lot more shops were open. So once again, my suggestion is if you're the only ship in port, I would wait a little bit, come out. It is now 11. There's a lot more shops that are open. However, not everything's open again. Like I said earlier on one port days, a lot of the shops take off because that's their break. Um, another thing I noticed is when we went to the straw market, First thing this morning, like we were bombarded by everybody just sitting there. Hey, first customer of the day, good deal, good deal, etc., etc. Well, now that it's a couple hours later, they were a lot more relaxed. They weren't uh, trying to sell to us. You know, they were kind of worn down, I guess, by all the people going through there. So I would just wait, kind of hang out if you don't really need to get off the boat first thing. Kind of take your time, enjoy your morning, get your cup of coffee, and then come out to Nassau and enjoy it but anyways heading back and uh let's go eat lunch at chops so in theory if you're like by yourself and you're really worried about going into nassau 
This place has like bars, they have shopping, everything you can buy out on the market, you can buy here, plus some. The only difference is it's probably a little bit more expensive here. I doubt they bargain as much as they do like in the straw market or in the local shops. So in case you've ever wondered why the water is so blue here in the Bahamas, it's because they have no industry. So there is no pollution in the waters. They have to import everything. Not a little FYI. I'll never get over how big these ships are. I remember the first ship I went on was the Paradise. And even I thought that was big, but man, they are huge. All right, so one thing that's kind of cool is if you look, they change the, the day of the week and the elevators. All right, so just like Carnival, they do cute little towel animals. Today looks like a bear. How cute. All right, so Chop is right next to the Windjammer, the buffet. So here's Chop. Six o'clock. Chops was a failure. Uh, apparently on port days they don't have lunch, but they didn't let us know. So good news is I'm getting dinner for the same price as lunch tomorrow. So that's still cool. Now I'm gonna eat at the buffet. All right, so I end up going with the non bread with rice and some kind of chicken thing uh, and vegetables, it's Indian style. It looks kind of like what I used to eat in Afghanistan with the locals. And then the baked pasta and meatloaf. I'm sure it's delicious. All right, so the meatloaf, no bueno. Went back and got some more of the, what's it called, the kind of chicken? Uh, chicken tikka masala. Chicken t tikka butter. masala, but what? Butter chicken, went back and got some more butter chicken. It is delicious. And then I thought this was chocolate in here, but it's not. It's just an olive. I'm disappointed. This is my lunchtime view. So everybody's still probably out of Nassau. It's dead. Which is cool. I'm going to go down to the bar comp, uh ales and something I believe it was, I don't remember what it's called. But I'm gonna go get a coffee and hang out a little bit, people watch. There's Clifford. Somebody found my duck that I left there last night. Just did another drive by ducking, right by the elevators. I'm good, I'm sneaky. All right, so I stopped and got a drink. I asked what they recommended, they said a white mocha. So I'm trying a white mocha. It's okay. It's good. It's not iced yet, so it's supposed to be cold and it's not, but I haven't had coffee yet, so I needed my uh, my shot of caffeine. Oh yeah, I, I did have a Red Bull earlier. Now I'm gonna go into Ale and Anchor and Give it a drink. So I'm a big Hefeweizen fan. So I got the all inner white German Hefeweizen. I saw him, I saw him on, I was gonna eat. Got a pretty nice table that people watch. All right, so right now I'm gonna go um, head up to the water slides. I like to go on water slides. I haven't really been on them really on the ships, but now I have some free time, so I'm gonna go uh, do the water slides. I do wanna do water slides. So they have archery up here, that's cool. And they got basketball. 
have like uh, basketball tournaments. They actually have like a, like soccer shootouts. They have free fall, free throw shootouts, stuff like that. But I think they have like an adult three on three tomorrow or the last day. And there's the rock climbing wall. Change of plans. Uh, the line for the water slide was long. I talked to one guy and it was like, a, he said roughly 30 minute wait just for one ride. Um, so I'm not gonna wait in line. I don't know if you watch my videos, you know I don't really like to wait in line, but I got early dinner reservations. So I really only have about an hour to be able to, to get ready. Or I only had about an hour like free time to kill until um, my dinner reservations. So tonight is formal wear. And then after dinner, what I have going on is uh, I got ice skating at 6, 635. You have to reserve it. They do in 10 minute increments. It's a, it says a, it's a 45 minute session, um, but it starts at like 415, goes all the way up, I think to like 930 or something. But we got that at uh, 635 and then there's a show at 715 again. I don't remember what it's called, so I'm gonna try to hit the show. And then the comedian we saw last night, he was pretty funny and it was the PG version. Tonight's going to be the R version. And uh, so we're going to try to go to that. But that's at 1130. I don't stay up late, so hopefully I can make it. But that's kind of what's going on this afternoon. So next time you see me, I will be formally dressed. All right, so right now I'm going to go do one of my favorite things. And that's hopefully catch some pier runners. I got about 10 minutes till uh, people need to be on board. Beautiful Nassau. The sun came out this morning when we went out there. It was a little cloudy. Looked like it might rain. Now it's beautiful and hot. It's hot and humid. So it is formal night. So I got my formal Roosevelt shirt, black and white. Nothing more elegant than a. Uh, a white shirt. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna guess these are the last ones. It is 427. <laughs> oh, there's some more. I guess I was wrong. All right, so I just heard the security guard say they're missing four. Yeah, I'll see him. This definitely isn't like Carnival. If it was a Carnival cruise ship, there'd be people lined up here to mock and jeer. Here we go. I thought they said four, but. So there's two more still down. So there's still just there's still two more not here. So there's two of the four that are late. Let me see. Let me see. Can I zoom in on them? I wonder what it's like to be uh, in your own world that other people's timelines don't matter to you. So I think there's still two people missing, but maybe they just miscounted when uh, they yelled out for or I misheard. Clean it up though. Oh well. One day I'll catch a pier runner. I want to see one of them really drunk ones that are stumbling. That's what I want to see every time I look for a pier runner. But it's not going to be happening on this one. All right. I think there's two people that are going to be left. They already pulled. They already pulled the ramp up. They probably just bought it. This is so exciting. So there's somebody in that golf cart, but they're not getting out. The ramps are up. So now I'm curious. I'm curious what's going to happen. So there's the boat that's going to lead us out, I assume. There's the pier runners not getting off the golf cart. I 
been waiting to see what happens and they just drive away. bad like I didn't even get a jeer him. I didn't even get a yell. Nobody yelled at him. There they are again. This is intriguing. Oh they're gonna let him on. Here we go to dinner. Yay! Right, here's the dining room again. So the first day they seat you and then every other day they just say come in, go to your table. If you're a couple you can request to have a two table or you can sit with people. So tonight I think I'm gonna get calamari and seafood linguine or the beef burgundies. I haven't decided which one yet. And then for dessert, probably cream brulee. Alright, so here's the cream brulee. Ooh. All right, so I just ate dinner. Uh, seafood was not my favorite. I realize now I am not a seafood eater. I can do shrimp, but not the mussels or oysters or any of those stuff. And now I'm gonna go to my ice skating appointment. I had to make a reservation, but it's free. All right, so getting in is pretty painless. I uh, had to sign a waiver. Now I'm just looking, I guess I get my skates and gonna, gonna tear it up like Brian Boitani. Room eight, you may enter the ice now. So it's formal night, and you see all these photographers taking pictures, people lining up just like on Carnival. And now here we are at the Schooner Bar. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, number five. In three, two, one. So they're playing music trivia. All right, so the show starts at uh, 6.15 or 7.15. We are here about 30 minutes early. And what do we got?
right, so I just got out of the dance thing. Uh, what was it called? What the hell was that called? Anyway, we're going to Summer Breeze Song of Summer concert. They have a oh, invitation to dance. It was not my favorite show, but now they're doing a concert on the Promade uh, Summer Song. So let's go check that out. Everything's in full swing here. Everybody's shopping. Going back. Oh, they're done with the music. So they have a 80s concert here tonight or an 80s dance party. Which I think is cool. Um, instead of going outside on the pool deck, they have it here on the promenade. Yeah, we can enjoy it here in the AC. And they got plenty of shopping. All right, so I never had this one. I asked for a Hefeweizen, and this is a Lefe Blonde. It's a Belgian beer. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I think it might be better than the Paul Weissner. The Paul the Pauliner Weiss German F Weissen. But now I'm just kind of hanging out, just doing some people watching. Lots of sparkly dresses. It still is formal night. Let's see, sparkly dresses. And they have a concert right up there. They play and they sang uh, a few minutes ago. And they're having an 80s concert at like 10, 15, I believe. All right, the party's about to start. They got the lights going. The DJ's in the booth. So this is the 80s party. It officially started at uh, So if you have a chance to get the interior uh, room with the view of the promenade, this is actually the 80s dance party from my room. I can rock, you can look out the window and you can see the big like crowd and you can actually kind of see the little concert, if you will. But it's kind of cool. One of the things I wish Royal Caribbean would do is actually, you know, be able to open the window so you can listen to the music. So I won't have to go down there, but Still cool, still a pretty cool view. Uh, I definitely enjoy like sitting up here and people watching. All right, so I just left the uh, 80s dance party. Pretty fun. Um, 
I think Carnival does it better, I'm not gonna lie, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, pretty crowded up there on the fifth floor in the promade. And now I'm at the Schooner Bar, which is also the piano bar, because I'm waiting to go into the Royal Theater to watch the comedian. So I'm just gonna hang out here for a bit, listen to the piano man. And then as soon as the Royal Theater opens, I think the show's 11.30, so it should open at 11-ish. So gonna go in there to make sure I get a seat because he was funny last night. He's probably gonna be even funnier tonight because tonight's the R-rated episode. I thought that was our cruise director that just walked by, but. All right, so one thing that's different on Royal Caribbean is the entertainment director actually does the parties. And the cruise director is kind of like in the background. I've only seen him twice on the ship, and it was like to introduce the shows. So it's kind of different from Carnival. I think I like the way Carnival does it better. <laughs> Up the piano bar, and now I'm getting ready to go in the Royal Theater to watch the comedian. I'll say his name here eventually. Dang, I expected it to be more full. He was pretty funny yesterday on the PG, so I assume he's going to be even funnier tonight. So this is Don Gray. All right, comedy show's over, so I decided to go get some pizza. I don't know, I don't know what she did, but that is the line for pizza. It's pretty long. And it's just like carnival. Uh, you know, when the people stop drinking, they go get pizza because it's open to like 3 a.m. I think on this ship. But whatever, it's a late night drunk snack, so I'll eat it. All right, so I ate my pizza, and now it is like 12.20, so I'm head off to the, the room for the night. Tomorrow is Coco Cay, they're a private island. Never been, there, never been there before, so I'm kind of excited. All right, so that ends day two. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is day two of my four-day uh, cruise to the Bahamas on the Independence of the Seas. So if you made it this far, hey, I appreciate it. And tomorrow we're going to Coco Cay. And hope you guys have a good night. And until next time, talk to you later. Bye.